Today is October 30, uh, 2019. I'm at McDonald's in Jordan with two Indonesian women, A and B. A was acquitted 7-0 by a Hong Kong High Court jury in June this year. And B was acquitted 6-1 by a jury yesterday. They were both tricked by the same Nigerian man in Cambodia to bring drugs to Hong Kong. And the same that, that guy also used the same woman in Indonesia to get to introduce them to, to him. I just asked them to give a quick summary of their stories. A in English and B in, in Indonesian. Uh, I was I was recruited by by a Nigerian guy, and he was he was very nice talker, and I was I was involved with in these kind of things. And I just want to remind the people outside, and I just want to tell you guys that don't ever uh, don't ever believe the people that you just comes to know, okay? And and if they ask you to bring anything for them, don't ever take it in in. I mean. Ya. Uh, ini saya adalah uh, korban dari Nigerian People Also. Saya keluar tanggal 29 Oktober 2019 ini. Saya baru aja keluar kemarin uh, dan untuk kalian semua tolong jangan percaya sama omongan manis mereka yang menjanjikan semuanya. Padahal itu bullshit. Itu cuma menyuruh kita bawa drak, bawa narkoba doang. Ye. Yeah. Ya udah. Did the um, Nigerian man, was he your boyfriend or just a friend? Uh, for me, he was uh, over me for, for a lover relationship, boyfriends and girlfriends, and I was tricked by him. For me, he's also like um, my uh, boyfriend. Yes! <laughs> right. How long was he your boyfriend? Uh, one one month and half something like that. Were you living together? No, not together. But he said just sometime come. You just saw him sometimes. Yes. Were, were you living? Yes, we together? are like like we are like to. We are not. Uh, I'm not living together with him, but he always comes to my hotel sometimes whenever he finishes his, his job. Now, both of you were recruited for him by the same Indonesian woman in Indonesia. Can you say something about her and what method she used? Or? For me, for me, I was, I was, I was uh, know him from a friend in Indonesia. Her name is Noraida, and now. Noraida and now he's, he's, he's running out from Indonesia and I'm trying to find her detail but I couldn't so please guys if you if you if you have any friends that ask you to 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 do something for for them leave them leave them away and don't ever take it me uh, I'm, I'm also know him Indonesian. oh yeah sorry <laughs> She only got out of prison yesterday. She's so happy. Aku juga ada kenal itu kenal laki-laki itu dari teman aku yang Indonesia namanya Monik. Dan sekarang dia juga nggak berada di Indonesia. Monik dan Noraida itu satu orang yang sama. Jadi kalian berhati-hati untuk mereka antara mereka itu namanya sama sih. Nah, nggak usah percaya sama omongan manis mereka. Kalau mereka kalian ketemu mereka atau mereka menawarkan kerjaan ke kalian, tolong jangan percaya dan jangan disetujui. Uh, hey, how long were you in prison in Hong Kong? Two and a half years. Wow, what was it like? It was very stressful, horrible, and like no life. When you won seven zero, was that your first trial? Ah, uh, yes. Right. And B, how long were you in prison for? Saya satu tahun lima bulan berada di Thailand prison. Uh, perasaan itu, aduh nggak tahu gimana, udah kayak mati tapi nggak mati, nggak tahu, pokoknya bilangnya itu nggak nggak bisa dijelasin lah, sakit banget. Jadi tolong buat kalian yang percaya buat mereka lagi, cukup kita kita aja yang jadi korban, oke? Okay? When, when you say it was horrible in prison, I don't think you mean the conditions because no, the conditions in Hong Kong prisons are among the best in the world. What do you mean no, horrible? Being not, not, about, not, not horrible about the prison, but horrible about my situation. Right. I feel like I will, I mean, I feel like I lost myself. I mean, I feel like I lost, I lost my life and there is no chance for me. 
there is no hope for me. Okay. But in the end, when when I found it, when I found the way, there is. God is. What were what were the conditions like in the prisons? The staff were good towards you. The staff is very nice to me. The CEO, the superintendent, they are very nice to me. Very kind. They are very helpful. And the free meals and free medical, yes. free clothes. Everything they are. They give to, and, to and us. And you did some study as well? They give some study as well to us. What did you study? Uh, I'm studying uh, English more uh, because my English is, was it was very, very poor. So I'm learning more English there and try to behave myself more. Okay. Uh, untuk saya, saya, oh, saya berada di sana, ya mereka memperlakukan saya dengan baik. Cuma cuma perasaan saya saja yang 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 tidak menentu karena waktu itu bagaimana sih perasaan di dalam prison itu gimana kamu kalian nggak bakalan tahu dan jangan pernah pengen tahu cukup kita kita aja terus perlakuan mereka mereka staff staff di sana juga tuh baik banget sama kita mereka menyediain apa keperluan kita pokoknya untuk mandi baju segala macam mereka nyediain ke kita untuk makanan mereka sediain banget buat kita dan mereka care banget sama kita apa keperluan kita tuh mereka ngasih dan mereka mendengarkan apa yang kita apa yang kita inginin kayak begitu pokoknya baik deh perlakuan orang-orang yang di Thailand itu baik banget buat kita. You were both tricked by the same Indonesian woman in Indonesia and then by the same Nigerian man in Cambodia. What was it like when you met each other and you found out you'd been tricked by the same guy? It was the first day when I came to know about it. I was I was very surprised and I couldn't believe that. This will happen, but did, God, did I tell you about B? I think I told you. Yes, yeah. I came to know, but D is from Father John. Yeah. And and no. how did you feel when you? Oh, it's ah ah. Saya waktu itu merasa senang banget karena memang nggak nyangka bakal ketemu sama orang yang sama-sama di di dicurangin sama dia, sama-sama dibohongin. Dari itu kita bertemu ka, uh, karena berkat Father John. Do you think it's possible that the Nigerian guy sent other people, not maybe to Hong Kong, but to other places? Maybe you're not the only two. Do you know if the Indonesian woman helped get other people for him? I think so. Why do you say that? Because, I mean like, I think that they have a lot of people to use. I mean, he used a lot of people. Did you hear him talk about anybody else working for him or helping him? Uh, just, just, not in Indonesia, but it, it was, it was the same as him, the Nigerian also. Right. But it may probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah, karena emang uh, semua dari kita itu korbannya rata-rata itu emang dari Nigeria atau orang hitam. Jadi itu nggak menurut kemungkinan kalau mereka tuh mencari korban baru yang lebih muda lagi mungkin dari kita yang gampang ditipu karena kita kan masih muda itu teriming-iming itu gampang banget kayak yang pengen segala sesuatu tuh pengen instan. Jadi untuk itu belajar dari pengalaman kita terus ambil hikmahnya dari kita belajar dari yang apa kita udah jalani selama kita di dalam tahanan itu itu emang gak enak banget. Jadi kalau mau bertindak atau melakukan sesuatu yang instan dan yang yang ngasilin banyak uang gitu pikir lagi uh, dan harus uh, benar-benar teliti jangan asal jadi. Um, while I think of it, is it okay with both of you if I put this on YouTube to warn other people in Indonesia and Cambodia and Hong Kong about the danger of certain types of boyfriends? I won't won't be showing your face or mentioning your name. Okay if it goes on YouTube? Yes, I agree. Yes, I stood you. Okay, and what final words would you have to people who have uh, boyfriends from other countries? Don't ever trust them so much. Don't ever trust them fully. Don't ever do that. Please. I mean, like, try to, try to, try, just, just, just try to ignore. Of, of what the sweetest sweet talking that they offer you that they said to you that's all ya menurut saya juga ya jangan terlalu percaya sama mereka karena karena mereka bisa gunain cinta itu cuma buat mainin kita doang cuma buat gunain kita buat ngelakuin hal yang gak bener 
kadang kan perempuan ini terbujuk dengan rayuan gampang banget kan nah, jadi mereka ngambil kesempatan itu buat buat mereka manfaatin kita buat nge, nge neba, uh, uh, maksud saya nebarin itu yang drag kayak begitu nah jadi nggak usah terlalu percaya deh sama yang namanya cinta uh, this year 2019 I know of six women who have been acquitted have been freed um, after serving quite a while in prison they were all uh, tricked or recruited by Nigerian boyfriends four of them including two of you from Indonesia and also two Filipino two women from the Philippines why why are so many women being tricked not not so many men it's all women who get tricked why why are women more easily tricked i think it, it just because of our weakness i mean like we used to not not we use sometimes we always falling down falling into 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 the, into the deep talkers that they offer to us Kalau menurut saya, eh, karena mungkin kita wanita ini terkesan, terkesan lembut, jadi mereka memanfaatkan kelembutan kita, terus mem, apa eh, mereka pura-pura baik sama kita, mereka gunain gunain perasaannya kita, jadi makanya suka terjadi hal-hal yang ber- seperti itu, karena keseringan wanita itu bodoh. Um. Sometimes women who are in trouble, having problem with their families or, or separated or divorced, they seem to be special targets of the Nigerians. Is that yeah, true? Yes, it's true. Especially like me. It was me. It was me. What was your background? Would you I, was, like to... I, was, I, was have, I was having a big argument with my parents and my parents was chased me away from the house and And also, I wanted to get a divorce uh, with my ex-husband, with my husband, but unfortunately, everything turned back. Like, seems the worst thing it comes to me, and then I'm, I'm, I'm trying to run away from my family, so I'm involved with these kind of things. So you were very vulnerable. You're a yes. target. What about me? Uh, waktu itu saya dalam keadaan yang memang tidak bekerja dan kedua orang uh, orang tua saya juga menderita penyakit waktu itu uh, diabetes bahkan sampai sekarang juga terus abang saya juga penyakitan apalagi ayah saya kerja cuma mocok-mocok jadi keadaan yang di, di yang di yang diberitakan mereka kepada saya yang, yang mereka minta saya untuk sebagai traveling itu saya iya kan karena memang keadaan yang keadaan perekonomian dan keadaan keluarga saya juga yang waktu itu memang tidak mendukung jadi saya bekerja dengan dengan upah yang menggiurkan pada saat itu. Okay, and maybe one final question. When you go back to Indonesia, what would you do or what would you like to do? Uh, I'll, tomorrow I'll be back to Indonesia and I'm, and no, no problem. It's okay. Yeah, and I just want to spend more time with my daughter because I have only one daughter and also I'm willing to help my friends for those who are still inside and still trying to 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 and fight you, for, you, for the you case. came back you came back to help me if you had not helped her and been a witness for her maybe she would not have won so thank you and I think you're thinking of coming back to help others too that's really good yeah Kalau, ya kalau saya mungkin saya mau cari beberapa pekerjaan lah yang yang cocok buat saya terus saya masih pengen ngelanjutin sekolah saya lagi karena saya udah nggak mau lagi jadi orang bego udah cukup-cukup terus kalau misalnya udah udah sekolah lagi ya saya ngelanjut kerja dan nolong-nolong yang lain juga kalau saya dibutuhkan dan terima kasih buat teman saya yang udah ngebantu saya yang udah mau jadi uh, saksi buat saya dalam pengadilan terima kasih banyak both of you have got good English now. Your English is very, very good. That's one thing you've... you've